Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable filtering in the Infogistix grid for ASP.NET MVC. What I have in front of me is a Visual Studio 2010 with a ASP.NET MVC project already created. I have done some work to set up the grid to show customer information from the Northman database. As you can see in my view, I have the grid defined, connected to my customers in my model, and setting up some column properties and column options and calling the customer list method which basically returns all the customer information from the Northman database and binds it to the grid. So just kind of take a look at what's happening behind the scenes. We have the Northman database in our app data folder and we're using entity framework to create to be used as our ORM solution. In our model um, we have a customer model which is which has a uh, static method and what this does is it's basically it's going through uh, the Northern entities and uh, using link it's grabbing all the customers in the Northern entities and then returning that as an I queryable. So in our model uh, once our from our controller um, the grid actually calls the controller whenever it's ready to data bind to the list and uh, this is the method customer list that's uh, being set up in the grid and in here we Used to, we basically call the model and um, grab our I queryable and return that as is to our view. And at runtime, the grid will take all that information and bind it and uh, display the customer information. So when we run this, we see that at runtime, uh, we get all of our customer information being displayed in the Infogistics ASP and MVC grid. So now what we're going to do is we're going to enable filtering so that the user can go ahead and filter on this on the data. So we're going to come back in Visual Studio and add grid features. So it, using the razor syntax, we have uh, what we call the features collection, and we can just add features within this collection. So we're going to say feature and use the lambda expression we are going to go ahead and add a feature to our grid filtering as soon as we do this feature dot filtering it enables the filtering behavior in the grid and then using chaining we can add more options to how we want the filtering to behave so we're going to set the mode first to be um, simple so filter mode simple and I'll show you the advanced mode in a second uh, but if you look at the IntelliSense in the filtering behavior, you'll see that you have a lot of options, other options that you want to use. So you have the filter drop down, how do you want to display the height and width, uh, some of the delay and other options. And if you want to do uh, filter options on a column by column basis, you can go in here and set up that and use the column settings collection. We're going to leave it like that and uh, run this application. So by enabling filtering and setting up the mode to be simple, we get this filter row as part of our data display. And now when we click on the drop down button, you get the options that you want to use to filter. So I can come down here because the contact title, I can say contains, uh, let's say, um, owner. And it's going to display all the owners uh, that's in my data source. And I can also come here in my country and I can say I, I only want to see let's say it contains uh, Spain for example and now we ha have just one record visible because uh, the filter criteria is only displaying one country if I want to remove that filter I can do that just by clearing filter button and it will remove all the filter in the grid and all my data is being displayed so again you saw that just by simple mode you get this filter row with a drop down and this drop down is actually um, context aware so if the data type of the column is numeric or date time you will see different drop down options in this case all the columns are text so we will do the same uh, oper operating conditions in the filter drop down so let's go back to our visual studio and change the filter mode to be advanced and see what happens So in our advanced mode, instead of getting that filter row, we get this icon uh, in the column header itself. And when we click on it, uh, we get this nice search box. 
And in this case, uh, the user can add as many conditions as he or she wants and click on this button. So it's sort of a batch filter mode. Um, so if I want to do the same thing with the contact title uh, being uh, contains owner and add another condition of the country to be Spain, contain Spain, and do a search. We get the same behavior as you saw before. So instead of using the drop down, you can actually use the advanced mode where you get a dialog box where you just can enter more conditions. And when they hit the um, search button, they, they, it gets applied. You can also do a multi column per column sort, um, sorry, filter. So if you want to do, um, if, it's, if it was a numeric column, you want to do greater than a certain value and less than a certain value, you can use advanced filter to do that. So you can pick up the same column for example, and you can do greater than, less than, um, and that's all the that's also the feature available using the advanced mode. So again, in this quick demo, you saw it's very easy to enable filtering into the ASP and MVC grid once you have hooked up to your data source, and you have two different modes: a simple mode and advanced mode. A simple mode gives you a row with some op range drop down conditions, and you can type in within the row itself. And with the advanced mode, you get, get a dialog box where the user can enter conditions and hit the search button to get the filter applied. Thanks for watching this video. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.